And I want to tell my friends, the millions of people who now you are calling takataka, the millions of people who run small businesses, mamamboga, mutia boda boda, yule mungine wakusukuma mkukoteni, the ones you are calling takataka, those millions of people that today you are calling, uh, you, you are, you are calling uh, takataka, I want to tell you, Kenya government statistics put the jobless, the mamambogas, the petty traders, the small traders at 15 million. So, if the people you are calling takataka are 15 million, then you have a big problem, my friend. <laughs> because how are watu milioni kumi na tano? Watu ambao hawana kazi, watu wakufanya kazi ndogo ndogo kama hiyo munaita takataka ya mamamboga na kusukuma mkokoteni na kusukuma wilbaro. Hawa watu milioni kumi na tano ambao munawaita eti ni takataka. Wewe kwa mpango yenu muko na mpango gani? Tunajua nyinyi mumezoea ati siasa ni ya watu wakubwa ni ya makabila ni ya kutafuta vyeo prime minister na ingine ni ya kutafuta kugawana mamlaka hamujazoea hii upande mwingine ambao ni ya watu wadogo na ndio tunawaambia safari hii marafiki zetu anzeni kuzoea hii mjadala mpya na siasa mpya ambayo ni ya kumuondoa mtu mdogo hawa ambao mnawaita takataka tuwainue kama ni takataka kwenu watoke huko kwa watakataka waanze kuwa sasa wa Kenya na mbinu ya kuondoa hawa walio chini hapa ambao mnawadharau ni kupitia economic revolution inayoitwa bottom up Anzeni kuzoea mapema. Hakuna haja ya kutukanana. Na hakuna haja ya kuita watu wengine takataka. Sasa wewe uko na watu yako mumepanga na wao. Mumepanga na wale viongozi wa makabila kubwa kubwa. Mumepanga na wale viongozi wa mavyama ya kabila kubwa kubwa. Na hiyo ni sawa. Na sisi pia tumepanga na hawa mamamboga na hawa wa mkokoteni sasa vile tunaheshimu alliance yenu ya makabila na vyama ya makabila kubwa kubwa hata na nyinyi muheshimu hii alliance yetu na mama mboga na muti ya mkokoteni na hawa wengine wadogo kwa sababu alliance ni alliance eh mumepanga yenu ya wadosi tumepanga yetu na hawa wa chini tuheshimiane wachana na matusi Eh hey. sisi hatujaita wenu takataka sasa mbona mnaita alliance wetu members takataka why eh hey. yeah tuheshimiane bwana ama niaje eh hey. mwambie bwana tinga tuheshimiane please you have your own alliance with uh, tribal leaders we have chosen to have an alliance with ordinary people mama mboga and others don't insult them they are members of our ally of our alliance the way those other ones are members of your alliance. And the Lena Alliance Yako, watch us this twenty Lena Alliance Yetu to Kutane Kwa Devi. Yeah, it is a fair game. Yeah, it is just as simple as that. And that is why I want to repeat for the avoidance of doubt. I want to tell my friends that we understand fully well that you are in strange territory. You are not used to, to discussing about ordinary people. You are used to discussing with leaders of tribal parties about positions and about power. We are telling you this time round, we are going to have a different conversation. It is about ordinary people, <laughs> the mamambogas, the people who are jobless. That will be the center of our conversation. 
and it is only through an economic revolution that thinks about the people at the bottom, the bottom-up revolution, economic revolution, that we are going to lift this country up and we are going to get everybody on a journey where nobody is left behind. So let us respect one another. So that is what I want. And I, I want to dare ask them. Sasa nyinyi, kama munaita mutu mwenye biashara ndogo, mama mboga na uyo wakusukuma wilbaro na mkokoteni, munaita hawa ni takataka. Na yule ambaye hana kazi kabisa, hata wilbaro hana, muta muita nini. <laughs> na ni wengi, ni karibu watu milioni ine. What will you call them? Na ndio failure ya siyasa yetu ya Kenya. And the more I listen to our competitors, the more I listen to what they are saying, and the more they demean 15 million Kenyans who are jobless and who are doing small business, the more I am persuaded that the bottom-up economic revolution is the answer to our politics. This is the only revolution that will stop the discussion about leaders, about positions, and about power. And we begin to have a discussion about the empowerment of the ordinary people, creating jobs for those who don't have jobs, and empowering farmers so that we can improve our productivity, eliminate poverty, and have a nation where nobody is left behind.